I did a video a while back and I used this little uh, test board here. It's a uh, it's actually a surface mount to, to uh, inline SIP uh, adapter, a 100 mil center adapter. And it's made by a company, I forget the company's name, I'll put a link here, um, that makes these things called surfboards. And these little, they're thin little boards. Uh, there's no solder mask or anything on them, but they have little pins on them. And uh, they come in all different sorts of uh, shapes and sizes and stuff. And uh, this was the last one of this type that I had. And I went to look at buying some more. These were given to me at some point or f in some kind of package deal I had. Anyway, I didn't pay for these. Um, when I went to look to see how much these were, were caught, they're like, I don't know, like $3.50 each or something. They were, they, they were a little bit pricey for me. Um, and some of them didn't actually do what I wanted them to do. Like this board actually didn't what I wanted to do. I had to add this separate wire on this top connector, if you can see it. That didn't actually come out. Um, like this, uh, let's see here. Like this one, it has a top connector, but it does, it does come out the bottom. Uh, you know, here's a funny one. It's, uh, what do you do with that? So that one didn't, that wasn't too exciting for me. Uh, I've made there's one that goes along the top and then comes out the bottom, but it's anyway They're all they're all different and then they have some that are for specific packages anyway um, Yeah, let me not get these mixed up here. Uh, there's there's all kinds of shapes and sizes here and uh, You can go buy them. I think even anchor electronics carries these in their store all right, so um, I wanted to start making some of my own because like I said some of the patterns weren't exactly what I wanted and I thought I could make them cheaper and maybe you guys would have some ideas of other ones to make and I've seen some people online make some that I really liked so I thought I would do my do my own so the first hurdle was I need to find these pins I can make the PC boards but I need to find these pins and as it turns out, the, the company that makes the surfboards also makes the pins. They're, they have them custom made. And they would sell you the pins individually. Unfortunately, I don't know if that company's going out of business or they stopped making those pins or whatever, but I can no longer buy those pins. They used to sell them on DigiKey, no longer have them. So I searched and searched and searched and searched, and I finally found um, these guys here. Let me show you those. Uh, so these are little pins and um, they go on a PC board and then you can snip these off and, and, and away you go. So these are made by a company, uh, TE, oh, what's the name of the company? Oh, here we go. Uh, TE Connectivity. And they make all kinds of lead frames and stuff, all, a whole, whole bunch of stuff. They're a big company. And uh, fortunately for me, and unfortunately for me, they had some of the right stuff, and then they didn't have some of the right stuff. So what do I mean by that? So the the little, first of all, let me show you some uh, pictures under the microscope here. Uh, so the way that these you are used is they have kind of, kind of a little opening on one side, and uh, they go around the PC board, so you can slide it over you can slide it over a PC board and then you can solder in place and then you can get rid of the let the rest of the lead frame. The lead frame holds it together while you solder it and then when you're done you can break it apart. Okay. All right. So that's the way that's going to work now. So it comes down to what's the opening on on these um, on these lead frames. What What is the spacing for what size PC board those will go over? And they, the company, TE, uh, did have different sizes. And um, uh, so the good news is I could find some for 062 boards. Um, but 062 boards are kind of fat, and I really wanted to do 032 boards. And they didn't have any, you know, that's, this is 1.6 millimeter, I wanted 0.8 millimeter. They didn't have any, um, at least not ones off the shelf. Minimum order is 44,000 parts and you know, way too much money. But they did have a couple off the shelf that you could buy. I paid four cents a piece. So four cents per pin. And I bought, I bought, uh, I bought a reel of uh, 500, 500 pins. Figured that'll keep me going for a while. Um, so I'm going to try out these 062s first, okay? And so here's one 
kind of put together. So I'm going to have to figure out what type of footprint that I create a footprint in KiCad for these things. Um, if you take a look at these guys, they're only soldered on one side, and these are single-sided boards. Um, and uh, single-sided boards and double-sided boards, I think, are the same money these days. Uh, but these did not solder on the back side, so the, the little pins only soldered onto one side. Now these guys here, no, nope, only on one side. So all of their stuff was just one side. Um, so on mine, I'm going to see if I can solder both sides, or if that's a pain in the rear, and only solder one side. I'm not quite sure what to do do yet so I need to I need to investigate that but anyway I do have some pins now and the ability to make the boards and I'm going to try to figure out what are all of the shapes and sizes I would like to have and then maybe just have one big board uh, that has a bunch of different things and then you can just get these boards and then you can snap out which one you want instead of making individual little boards have a big board that has V grooves or mouse bites or something that you can uh, That you can open them up take them apart So anyway, that's my adventure so far so far. I like it um, It's a little bit cumbersome breaking off this tab in the back um, There is a V groove if you uh, look at the um, the back side of these guys, right along the base. Oh, this is one I've already broken off. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, up at the top, right along the base, uh, there's a V groove in the metal, okay? And that V groove in the metal allows you to snap off these things once they're, once they're attached. Uh, but you can see once they're attached, they're now kind of flush, flush with the board, and it's sort of hard to get in there and bend it over and break it, especially if you haven't soldered it down. So, yeah, I need to figure out exactly how to do that. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe one sided is okay. Uh, these seem to work. These seem to work just fine. So maybe I'm making my job more difficult than it has to be. Um, but I still need to figure out, do I break this off before soldering or after soldering? Is that a, is that hard, hard to do or not? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I will start designing some of these of favorite sizes and stuff and, uh, get them built, give it a, give it a rev a try.